up some data in R, we often started with a regular spreadsheet in Google Docs. So here I have the fingers data, but I'm going to publish this by going to File, Publish to the Web, and I'm going to publish this document not as a web page, but as a CSV file. So I'm going to hit Publish. And I'm going to take this link and take it over to my DataCamp sandbox. I'll say, hey, I want to save it in fingers by using read.csv. And I'm going to put my crazy link in there. And then I'm going to also say header equals true, because the first line of this data are the name of the variables. All right, if I run that, nothing will come out because this is just saving this data into fingers. So I'm also going to type fingers. And that's going to print out fingers. So here it is. And I'm going to scroll up. And I see that each row is somebody who participated in this study, an observation or a case, in this case, a student. And each column is some aspect of that student, also called a variable. So here are the sex of all the students. Here are the race and ethnicities. Here are the family members, etc. SPSS will also let you open all kinds of data files, including Excel and CSV data. I happen to have the fingers data as a CSV file, so I'm going to open that up. Here's what it says. Generating preview. One of the things you want to do is tell SPSS that the first line contains the variable names. All right. You'll notice that when it opens up, SPSS data look an awful lot like data frames. They have rows, which stand for an individual case or observation. In this case, they're students. And each column represents a variable or an attribute of that case. So this row right here, um, this person is a male who has the third race and ethnicity category. They have seven family members, etc., etc. You'll want to save your data as a SPSS data file. Here's how you do that. Go to File, Save As, and you could basically name it whatever you want. I'll name it Fingers. And make sure that this SPSS statistics, SAV, is selected because that's the type of file this thing is. Another thing you could do is also type in .sav. Hit Save. All right, now you're ready to go. So to recap, Data in R and SPSS is quite similar. Although in R, we call them data frames, and in SPSS, we call them .sav files. In both cases, the rows represent cases. For example, the students who did the survey in the fingers data set. And the columns represent variables, sex, race, ethnicity, different aspects of those students. That's all for now. Bye.